Okay, maybe... Well, definitely not two riders. Maybe only one egg. Uh, Neckers are completely useless. Against crack. And he's just gonna start with a spear. Huh. Maybe... I'm gonna start with... Frightener Dormant. So he has nothing to hit. Then when we when he starts finally killing stuff, he's actually giving me 12 points. Oh, never mind that. He does have something to hit. Ultimately, he doesn't want to kill units. He just wants to damage them. Let's go with the Ancient Foglet. If there was one deck that I could take out from the meta, it would be Crack. I don't enjoy these uh, matchups. I once lopped off three heads. Whoa! Oh, no. Actually. Never mind that. This guy is... I don't know if I would go as far as to say that he's unique, but he is more unique than most. I think we might have to do something like a uh, Imperial Manticore. And trigger it, or we trigger the Rot Fiend. But he's probably gonna get stronger by one. Yeah, that's what I expected. Then we get unlucky, like always. Then he's just gonna hit me for one. It goes up to five. Place something else next to it. Then we can just blow up. The Manticore. Hopefully he plays something that's uh, a four or less. What's this on one? I can actually boost the Manticore. Then send it in. It's a bit odd. But we can do it. So does he have a different deck? Because I don't see the great source that much, but poss possibly this is a reaction to the meta that it's that he finds it a bit passive. Um, but it's also possible that he just has like a completely different deck. Yeah, I don't I don't like that guy. Twelve points. Now this would be a really good time to consider passing. But the new Gwent is just so limited. I don't like this. I don't like how they force draws. Because you used to ha draw three cards, now you draw six cards. And I believe that just really takes out a bunch of strategic decisions from the game. Because this would be a, an excellent time to pass. But if I pass now, what's gonna happen? He's gonna overcome me in two cards, or even three cards. No, actually two cards. And he's not gonna lose a card. Because he's just gonna pass twice. Easy peasy. So what I have to do is play a Valtan Rider, 
most likely. If I want to take it. Then he's gonna pass. Then, at that point, he will have no choice. Like, I had no choice. Then we go next round. Correct me if I'm wrong. A lot went to Artifact. Petrify. Life Coach. Super JJ Swim. Wow. How did all leave? How did they all leave? I don't get it. Why did this max mass exodus happen? If anything, they they a little bit stayed with Gwent when it was it was getting no content. Then they left when it when the big patch came out, and it did turn out to be pretty disappointing. Uh, at least the initial expression was mixed because it was it was polished in a way, but also like it had many flaws. I don't know. Do we keep that guy? Maybe. I kind of want to draw into Kairon. So we should play one guy here. Or maybe not. I don't know. More bullying freedom next turn if I don't. Uh, I don't know. We can kind of. Yeah. Let's just play one guy. It's gonna be. It's gonna be Harpy Egg. Then we're gonna trigger it. Never liked their streams. <laughs> Screw those guys! No loss whatsoever! Go away, cowards! I swear if Wolf paid them, because that game is nearly dead already. Hey. So what's our plan? Would Wolf pay me? To go and play some artifact, I would I would do it. How much money are we talking about here? You know, I'm gonna be <clears throat> saying artifact is the best. Like, wouldn't it be the best game if I was paid big bucks for that just to play it? You know what? Artifact does does seem like a better game. As I think of it, maybe I should just send them a letter. Ask ask them how good artifact is. So do we pass? I'm thinking maybe. Yeah, let's do it. He passed too? Yeah, that's okay. I would prefer if the leader stalked a little bit. I don't know. I'm, I'm a little bit... I'm not entirely sold on the idea of they just like standing on the battlefield, doing nothing, just looking at each other and saying... Mm, 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 mm. Sometimes... Mm, mm, mm. But that's basically it. That's the extent of it. Uh, two pointy things. Uh, two very, very ugly. Rot fiends. No. Wait, what? Well, I do have one consume. I swear at one time. Well, it, actually, we don't have the animated version. Yeah, we don't have the animated version. That's actually for the better. Because one time, somehow, we, we were like I, we somehow, uh, somehow ended up seeing like these guys were sh shooting some kind of porno. And I didn't forget it. So it's, it's, it's a really good idea that I don't have them Most animated. The because that would, <sighs> that would be not good. Do you like Freddy? Artifact is the best. One month later, I think Gwent can be the best card game ever. <laughs> I can just translate that. Artifact no longer pays me. Gwent, take me back. Oh, 
Artifact had an amazing monetization model. Prices like uh, traditional magic along with you having to buy the cards you need. But they don't have to print the cards. Yeah. That's very smart. At that point, why not just like... Release a game, call it money. Just, and have the description, just send us your money. Easy. Huh. I don't want him to just hit all the guys I play. Huh? Waiting for the thaw? No, I'm not waiting for that. I'm thinking whether I should kill this dumb ship. that people should stop whining and play what they like yeah but I suppose those who are already streaming and they already have an audience and in a way they actually want to keep the audience not necessarily just for monetary reasons but uh, they enjoy streaming, but they one thing that maybe the viewers don't always think about is that the streamer does get flipping bored. Like, you see a streamer, let's just say he streams like, basically as, as like a job, and uh, he just gets really bored of one game. And uh, But that's what the audience wants to see, and he just like keeps switching games to see if something sticks. I could definitely understand that. But ultimately, yeah, like, if you're just a regular guy playing games, just, like, play whatever you like. I definitely need it now. So... Let's play a Rod Fiend. So I tried to have a bunch of fours on the board. <clears throat> Streamers who have a big audience are doing it for the money, and we can feel that. It's not true fun from their side. It just like uh, music for the masses, boring and untrue. Yeah, I really dislike that actually. I don't think it's not necessarily true, but ultimately at that point, at one point, it might just feel, uh, yeah, it, it, it's possibly gonna become a job, and yeah, the viewers gonna feel that, and uh, it, and the streamer or content creator, or whatever, just like entertainer, does wanna grow or change, but probably the audience is gonna, uh, and I think that's important. If, if, if you just watch somebody, that rarely happens, that rarely happens to me, but like, you watch someone and you just feel like, you know, you, you've seen what they have to offer, you kind of outgrown them. This is actually, especially when you're just uh, younger, I suppose. Your taste changes a slower when you're older. But especially when you're younger, you just like, uh, you enjoy something, then you just like, how the fuck did I like that? <laughs> it was okay at the time, but then you just uh, no you kind of wanna uh, do something else. So, how do we do this? So I can hit that. 
I can play the Veracat, but do we play the Veracat now? We want to play Bruis for sure. We want to play Bruis right now or next turn. Uh, then Vivas, then Karen. But do we play v Veracat now? I think no matter what we... Yeah, well, actually he's going to attack next turn, right? So we're going to play Bruis now. Just eat one. Yeah, whatever. Let's go with that. If you really wanted to do it for the money, you should uh, become a Twitch girl. <laughs> oh, man. I consider that advice. <laughs> become a girl for money. I, I have a feeling that I will struggle to pull it off, guys. Do you think I will become a... Do you guys think that I will become a pretty girl? <laughs> I don't follow anyone who is just... Uh, just for the looks. I suppose I understand that. Like, people just... Uh, I, I don't judge it whatsoever. Like... Like, imagine if you're watching porn and people just, like, judge you like, Oh my god, you're watching this for the, their bodies? You monster. No, 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 that's nothing wrong with that. I'm not judging whatsoever. Oh, he's gonna ship me, right? Definitely. He's playing ship. Just putting on a wig, nobody will notice anymore. Don't it's just all relative. I don't know, man. I think some people might suspect that the jig is up. Yep. That's GG. I think even best doctors will make you a girl from you. <laughs> will make a girl from you, sorry. God damn it! My dreams are crushed! But GG, crack. Uh, it was uh, a pleasure uh, smacking you. Let's just mulligan that one. Hmm. Okay, let's just keep this. It's a really strong hand. Why are you the way you are? Is as it should be. Well, I can't answer that. Oh, we do have the cat. It's actually a really good counter. These neckers uh, that are quite common. Sure. Make Nilfgaard great again. Uh, Nilfgaard is actually pretty great. But yeah, Usurper in the plan. But I don't have a Usurper. Well, I do have a Usurper that's suggested to me. I don't know how good that is. But yeah. I definitely want to play Usurper and I want to play Traps. So we got to play either of those. Is this the list posted on Reddit? Yep. We are playing the, the list posted on Reddit. It's it's good. It's actually keeping up with the other decks, but not we are not exactly crushing them, are we? We are making progress. And also, I, I don't really know how to play it properly. <laughs> so... I only had like... Like up to like... Like 10, 10, 10 or so games with it so far. It's actually pretty surprising that uh, Erden plays a harpy egg.
You will see that Meave will bring Noram from the grave. Meave will actually be decent, I believe. Meave will be basically like a worse crack, and crack is really good. So, Meave will be probably the best Noram leader. Also, it would synergize with Noram's most complete archetype that actually doesn't have a leader, which is Boost. Boost has a lot of good options, uh, but uh, at least since they nerfed the shield, the shields, shields made a little bit more sense for for that archetype, but now the shields are, are are nerfed. And I would say that if it just comes to like straight up shield versus spear, spear is always better. Like doing damage is better than just boosting. Uh, that's not exactly a, a secret here. So yeah, I have uh, high hopes for Meave, but the problem is Nora Realm has some crappy bronzes and even gold. It just needs more good cards. So the, the entire charge, or how does it? I think charges. Like yeah, that's basically charge archetype. It's not like rushing in like charge, but like entire charge archetype. Seems pretty damn weak. Also easy to shut down. Orders are delayed as well. So if you're playing units with charges and orders, and if and your opponent your opponent just plays an aggressive deck that just kills units on the board, uh yeah, you're in trouble. If I play this, I have no way to trigger it, other than with k -Ren. And there are quite a few. Okay, I think we're just gonna do it. Will he pass? Because it's a bit odd. But I played that, and... I don't know if I would pass in his shoes. If he blows up that, then I'm gonna be sad. He actually played that in the back? Why? I think he underestimated the swing that I can do. So 45 versus 29. But against this guy, getting control over the game is everything. And he passes. Okay. Uh, pass two. Well, understandable. But I suppose we just have to push him round two. Because most likely he has some long range. Long round, immune, Yennefer, or Imralit Sabat play, planned. At least that's what I would have if I was him. I can't really argue with these uh, draws. Like, they, they are really, really good. And actually, Nogglefar is bricked now. And I kind of need something that I can target with the hero. We need to send back something, so Nagofar is not bricked. So let's go with that. Time for a beating! Strong. So I can get out the Manticore. And trigger it. Then the Cyclops can actually just straight up blow up two units. Is this Frightener deck? 
Uh, it's the deck that uh, you could have uh, seen on Reddit. I actually have it uh, linked in my decks, so I just I just added it. You see many usurpers on the ladder today. That's a good thing. Yeah, we gotta keep pushing, I believe. Pass? Yeah, I, I was really tempted to pass. And I would pass in most scenarios, but... The problem with this uh, matchup is that if Aradin plays... An Imbrelet, Sabat, or Yennefer Conjurer, and makes it immune. That could be GG. So, considering that, I'm gonna push. They don't have to push, like, all in, but... I do want to push. Hopefully get his hero power out as well. Past time. Oh yeah, I lose so many games with a similar deck, but it's really fun to play. I'm kind of nervous for tomorrow. They are about to nerf a lot of things. I like when they shake up the game. Oh no. Yeah. Yeah, we don't want the spear. Actually, the spear could help get up professional. Well, if we get <clears throat> Ancient Foglet, that's bad. But he just gave up. So we don't have to think about this anymore. It just needs a GG. Well done. Uh, Erdin. By the way, that Mournheart. Uh, version of the deck is, I think, just straight up worse than playing it with uh, Imralit, uh, Sabat, or uh, Yennefer Conjurer. Actually, both. I think that's the best version. Anyway, GG.